Hello, Faith Community Kids. It's good to see you again and uh, talk to you for a little bit in this kids' message. I'd like to read a verse from the Bible, just part of a verse from the Bible. It's from Psalm 46, and it's verse 10 of Psalm 46. And it's one of my favorite verses, and I know of a lot of other people's favorite verses too, and I think you probably have heard this verse before. All right, are you ready? Psalm 46, verse 10, just the first part. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And of course, that's talking about God, that he is God over us. So I think that you probably know, even maybe many of you, a song about that. So I'd like to sing it, and I know some motions. I'm not that great at motions, but I think I can do it. All right, so it goes like this. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Did you sing along? I hope you did. But you know what? I've been thinking about that song, and that song can be a little bit confusing. Because when I say, be still and know that I am God, that doesn't mean that I'm God. Of course not. I'm just a human being, just like you. And I'm certainly not God. But I'm sure glad that that passage is talking about God. That God is saying that to us. He's saying, be still and know that... I am God. I'm in charge. I'm in control of this whole world with all the strange things going on right now with this coronavirus. You probably have heard that word said by your parents. It's good to know that God is in charge over all of that. He has the world in his hands. And so maybe we could just change that song for this kid's message and say, be still and know that God is God. Shall we try that, even with the motions? And it would be a little bit different, because when we say God, it's like this, right? We could just say it twice. God is God. Okay? So let's try to sing it that way. All right? Be still and know that God is God. Be still and know that God is God. Be still and know that God is God. That's a fun way to do it, isn't it? And it reminds us that God is in control. God is in charge. So let's thank him. Do you know the very next part of that verse in the Bible says, God should be exalted. God should be praised because of that. So let's praise him as we pray. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, you are God and we are not. Thank you for being God and that we are your children and you love us and you take care of us and you're in control. You have this whole world in your hands. Help us to be still. Help us not to worry and remember that you always, God, are God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, kids, you have a great rest of this Lord's Day. Okay, bye-bye.